some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you're all having a Merry Christmas and getting many great uh, presents. But at any rate, I, we, in this video, we find ourselves in Kingman, Arizona, where a relatively new frauder attempts to film a courthouse and, well, ends up getting kicked out fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, welcome back to another video. We are at Kingman Surbat Justice Court. It's the main building right there. Oh look, that sign has a uh, court rule attached to it, which means, you know what? He's going to say it's unconstitutional. Well, dude, take it up with the courts itself. You have no authority to say it is or it isn't constitutional. It is the courts that determine whether it is constitutional or unconstitutional, dude. Why don't you try doing a little bit of reading instead of, uh, well, acting like a complete doofus and pa uh, parroting whatever other frauders say. I'm going to have to look that up. Because I don't know. So I'm going to ask you to stop recording inside the courtroom, courthouse, please. For Rule 122.1, I'm going to have to ask you to stop or you may be arrested for trespass. I, have never I will tell you one more time before I call KPD. Call, call KPD? Please stop recording inside the courthouse. Call KPD. No judge in this country can tra uh, over trump the uh, Constitution. Yeah, right there on the wall, sir, is actually Supreme Court Rule 122. Yeah, that that doesn't that doesn't trump the Constitution, First Amendment. So. Hey, you moron. This is not cutting into the First Amendment, you dipshit. Uh, because it's not, got nothing to do with freedom of the press. Because they're not saying the press can't uh, publish their stories. What they are saying is that you can't take electronic recording devices into the courthouse. And that is for a very good reason. Because, well, you've got attorney-client privilege. You've got jurors who are worldwide walking around that don't need to be identified out in public just in case something happens. I mean, there's all sorts of security issues that go on. So why don't you grow a brain and actually do some research and realize that it is not your job to determine whether anything is constitutional or anything like that. It is the job of job of the court system to determine that. And if it was unconstitutional, I'm sure it would have been uh well abolished by now, you dipshit. Or somebody would have challenged it. No, you're fine. Yeah. I don't want to be on candy camera. Well, you're on camera up here. I don't want to be on camera. And over there. And over there. And yeah. on here. You're on camera. Right? My camera doesn't bite. Theirs does. Yeah, yeah I know. Frequent flyer here. Frequent flyer. Yeah, I don't want to be on camera. 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 It's a tricky system. Oh, okay. Thank you. <coughs> I've already asked them to stop recording due to Rule 122.1. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to turn off the camera in the courthouse, please. KPD has been notified. Would you give me a copy of the posting, please? That's Sir, right. you'll notice right here, while you're recording, use the recording devices in the courtroom. I'm not in the courtroom. You were in the courthouse. Yes, it's a courthouse, not courtroom. And as you'll see, the county has plenty posted is out here on the signs. Thank you. Well, dude, if you had read the entire document, instead of acting like a complete jackass, you would realize that it would say courthouse as well as the courtroom. But you know what? This guy's just a complete moron anyway. So let's just go ahead and go to the part where the cops show up and deny him further access into the courthouse. You're not here to wage war on my rights, are you? What's that? 
not here to wage war on my rights, are you? So, that's what I was actually talking to him about, mm -hmm. waiting for confirmation. But we are to believe that because it is in the courthouse, you are not allowed to record due to the private nature of the conversations that are happening. There's an, it's a public building, is it not? It is. So there's no expectation of privacy in a public building. So the difference is, through the Arizona Supreme Court, I believe it is ruled that you cannot record in a courthouse. That's why does, I was does the Supreme Court trump the Constitution? That's why I was waiting to come in to talk to you, because that's what we were checking out. Right okay. Now. So that's why I haven't come to talk to you yet. Are you familiar with the public forum doctrine, you dumbass for auditor? If not, then I suggest you uh, acquaint yourself with that because houses are designated non-public forums and with good reason, as she just explained to you about the private conversations. So why don't you go get yourself educated and shut your mouth about this? Because you're simply making yourself look like a damn idiot every time you open your pie hole. with my sergeant he is actually going to bring you a piece of paper that explains that you cannot record in the courthouse due to the private nature of the conversations that occur in the courthouse so so you are going to wage war on my rights today that's what you want to call it i'm abiding by the law this is you cannot record in the courthouse the law the first amendment of the constitution says that i have a right to record in public okay uh no it doesn't exactly say that dude that it says we have freedom of the press which is the right to uh publish our stories without government interference it says nothing about recording in the public you dipshit i mean why don't you try actually reading the constitution and realize how vague it is and realize why we need the supreme court to interpret this crap especially when we have morons like you who seem to be well uh, illiterate to say the least we can wait for that paper. Uh, my sergeant's on his way with it, and we can explain it from that paper. You can't explain it. You can't explain away the Constitution. Okay. So. I agree with you. It is a public building, but because it is a courthouse, it has been ruled that you cannot record in there due to the confidential nature of the conversations that occur in the courthouse. Sergeant Huerta is on his way to bring you a piece of paper that explains why you cannot record. Okay. The, the, what? the paper that Sergeant Huerta is bringing out is going to explain everything you let, can and cannot do. Let, let me ask you this. If, if, if the issue is hearing something in a public building, right, which is what you told me it was, right, what is the difference between my ears hearing the conversations next to the people that are next to me? Well, it's different. You're not recording it for use outside of your own but I could just take the information from my head, mind, and brain and just take it outside. So what's the difference? There is no difference, right? I didn't you, see how, law, sir, you see how I silly that is? I'm not saying it's not. I'm we didn't write the law or the rules. I didn't write them. I'm just here to enforce them. Well, your rules are uh, in violation of the Constitution, just so you know. Not my rules, sir. Mine You're enforcing the rules. The You're enforcing them. That means it's your, your, your rule. Well, sorry, Doing good. Sergeant Jason Huerta. So this is from the Arizona Supreme Court website. Yeah, I seen that. The unconstitutional ruling. So you need well, he spent the next few minutes whining, crying, complaining about how everything like this is unconstitutional. But dude, you really need to sit down and read this crap because it's not as cut and dry as you think it is. I mean, with the public forums doctrine and the fact that there are confidential the conversations going on in that courthouse between attorneys and clients means that, well, there has to be a point where, well, you can't record any of that stuff because it may compromise the integrity of that person's trial or other people's trials. I mean, come on now, dude. Would you want somebody recording your conversation with your criminal defense attorney? I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't want to have that happen. I mean, have a little bit of empathy and understand that there are certain times where this is necessary. But from what I've seen of your performance here today, dude, I'm going to say that you have no freaking uh, brain in your head to be able to understand the nuances of 
anything. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?